does every merger acquisition deal does every restructuring deal uh, benefits the parties answer is no more than 80% of the deals which happens in case of merger and acquisition those deals are not successful they fail because the uh, combined company fails to reap the synergy benefits which was expected out of the company so guys why are we uh, you know merging the companies together because we are expecting some additional profits we are expecting some synergies but more than 80% of the merger and acquisition deals fail because there are less synergies or there are no synergies they fail so we'll talk about a failed merger and acquisition deal today okay failed merger and acquisition deal today looks too rosy so yes whatever we have studied till now it looks really fancy and it looks really good but it is not that good as it looks rosy okay but sometimes turns out to be a nightmare it can be a nightmare as well it can turn out to be absolutely topsy turvy and everything can come for a toss everything can can come for a standstill if you enter into a wrong or incorrect merger acquisition deal and you know the best part is no one can forecast what is the future of this particular deal whether it will be a success or whether it will be a failure no one can forecast it is only time which will tell okay so tata and chorus this is a deal which was really 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 bad it did not meet the requirements at all and it failed terribly terribly tata and chorus deal failed terribly so tata steel one of the biggest steel giants of the country and even the entire world tata steel manufactures steels and exports it to outside india also it 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 uh, gives it to indian uh, people also tata steel is one of the biggest um, uh, you know steel manufacturing company in the country and the world and yes the tata steel plant which is located at jamshedpur is one of the biggest steel plants of the country now tata steel being so huge uh, it was operating pan uh, asia and pan world there was a company for sale in united kingdom by the name of chorus chorus steels limited it was a company of uh, situated out of london i guess yes it was a british company situated out of london it was up for sale that uk company was up for sale tata also uh, bidded in that uk company it wanted to purchase that uk company why because tata steel wanted to uh, in, uh, get peers into the steel market of uk it wanted to make profit it wanted to expand its market size it wanted to make profits in um, uh, united kingdom so it uh, bid it 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 uh, offered its bid in um, uh, uk for chorus uk okay but what happened after that was a nightmare let's read tata steel completed acquisition of chorus on 2nd april 2007 okay uh, just uh, take a look at this word guys i love this word because of this word i put this this was a article which was there in economic times back then and i have extracted that article's uh, key points in this but this heading was really nice okay they have termed this deal as deal from hell this deal was so bad so bad that it is termed as deal from hell it is directly from hell that this deal has taken place and it gave tatas a bloody nose it gave tatas a bloody nose you know when uh, what happens is when uh, there's extreme weather there there there's there is too much of heat wave which is going on sometimes um, our nose starts starts bleeding right so this merger gave tatas a bleeding nose that is the heading which which the editor gave and it was a beautiful heading guys so just because of this heading i uh, extracted it from uh, a newspaper and i pasted it over here tata steel completed acquisition of uh, chorus on 2nd april 2007 at the peak of the boom that ended with global financial crisis in 2008 so in 2008 there was a global financial crisis which uh, hit the entire world when the world bank came to a standstill world bank was actually um, uh, you know uh, crashed world bank crashed because of its uh, bad policies so after this economic downturn in 2008 the market started falling until now they have not recovered to the level which was uh, pre 2008 so 2007 was the highest peak of economy of the world and at that highest peak of economy of the world tata purchased chorus yes at a very very high price if tata would have waited for say one year after 2008 the prices would have crashed substantially but yes as it is said that you know some things are written in destiny if something wrong is destined to <clears throat> happen to you it will happen to you some things wrong are written in destiny so whenever something bad happens to you or even when someone something good is happen, happening to you my earnest request to all of you please don't get too excited when good is happening and please don't get too sad when bad is happening in your life because please understand you are not the reason why good and bad things are happening to you the reason is something else reason is some divine reason is there it is not the reason that you are doing this no your brain has been channelized in a manner to do that particular thing so when good things happen don't be very happy 
happen bad thing bad, bad things happen don't be very sad okay so i uh, i am reminded of one of the sayings which i heard somewhere so which is one which is that one line that can make a person who's crying he can uh, that line if you tell that person that line he will start laughing and what is the one line which if you tell a person who's laughing the same line uh, he'll start crying i want one line which if told to a crying person he'll start laughing same line if told to a laughing person he'll start crying what is that one line what is that one line that one line is time will change very soon so time changes guys there are ups and downs in your life there are ups and downs in your career there's ups and downs in your financial position there are ups and downs in your relationships this is life life is not static life is uh, you know ups and downs so as you you can see you know in hospitals there is that um, meter that uh, you know that uh, tells us about our beat rate heart beat rate okay it is always vibrating like this what if it becomes flat it means the person is dead so if your life becomes dead that will happen only when you are dead before that it will not happen so there are ups and downs which happens in everyone's life there are profitable times there are non profitable times in businesses there are good times and bad times in our life just be equal try to be equal in all those stages when there's good time try to be um, equalized when there's bad times try to be equalized that is the key to success of leading a good and happy life okay so yes tata had purchased this uh, uh, this deal from hell in 2007 this uh, chorus company was purchased uh, when when the uh, the the economy was under a boom and prices were really high from which the world economy never recovered chorus acquisition paved way for tata to enter into uk steel sector so the idea was that tata what wanted to enter into the uk steel sector tata wanted a breakthrough into the uk steel sector the acquisition was preceded by an unprecedented takeover battle with brazilian major csn so there was a brazilian company csn it also wanted to take over chorus uh, there was a war between tata's and brazilian um, uh, company for taking over chorus ultimately tata won the bid the company early on wednesday said that it is exploring all options for portfolio restructuring including potential divs investment of tata steel uk guys after a few years itself in 2010 the company tata steel india wanted to sell off tata uk because tata uk proved to be a wrong decision for tata steel india it wanted to sell off tata steel uk tata steel uk is chorus okay chorus was renamed at as tata steel uk soon as tata acquired chorus okay it was renamed tata steel europe in 2010 here are the five facts that shows that how acquisition dented the fortune of tata steel group so how did this acquisition had a bad impact dented means had a bad impact on the fortune of tata steel uh, uh, group so how the fortune of tata steel group was superbly impacted uh, uh, you know when um, this acquisition happened these are the five facts that can show that particular uh, step to you decline in turnover tata steel group waste witnessed 6% growth in the turnover over the period tata steel's europe saw 20% decline in the turnover so suddenly after acquisition of tata Uh, UK by Tata India, Tata UK started declining in its turnover. Twenty percent down turnover was there. Clearly, Tata Steel Europe has been the drag on the group. On the entire group, it was a burden. Drag means burden. It was burden on the group, entire group, because six percent increase in turnover for the group, and for Tata UK, twenty percent down turn, twenty percent uh, reduction in turnover. Decline in operating profits. Operating profits terribly declined. The Tata Steel Group saw a decline of thirty percent between two thousand seven eight and two thousand fourteen fifteen. Tata Steel Europe meanwhile witnessed a sharper fifty three percent decline. Fifty three percent decline in operating profit of Tata Steel UK, as compared to thirty percent decline in the uh, profit of the group. So undoubtedly, guys, this particular company was pulling down the group entirely, pulling down the group entirely. Entire group was suffering because of this entity, Tata Steel UK. Increase in debt. The the most important thing is that you know um, there are certain numbers which when they are pulling up, you feel happy about it. So if your assets are going up, you will feel happy about it. If your profits are going up, you will feel happy about it. If your turnover is going up, you will feel happy about it. But there are certain figures which if they go up, then it can raise your heartbeat. it can be a problematic situation so debt is one thing which should not increase so increase in debt was a major setback for tata group after acquiring this particular company if there is one number that has grown phenomenally for the group it is debt <laughs> debt has increased phenomenally everything has declined turnover has declined profit has declined but debt increased phenomenally tata group was under huge debt which means loans 
from 53625 crores in 2007-8 it has grown 40% to rupees 75118 crores in 2015-16 up to december so this was the growth in debt debt was increased from 53000 crores to 75000 crores this was the increase in debt which tata steel uk had seen decline in net profit net profit declined terribly okay uh, the group registered a net profit of 12350 crores this fell 60% to 4951 crores so even the net profit guys declined a lot from 12000 to 4951 crores this is the decline in net profits of the company decline was also severe decline was also terrible then there was a loss of 2009 crores and in 2010 11 the group swung back to profits of 8983 crores in the course of nine financial years the group was in profit in six times so this was the bad situation of the entire group of tata uh, steel um, uh, after acquisition of tata steel uk decline in market capitalization guys market capitalization also declined which means market price of the share in bombay stock exchange bsc had also decreased after this um, uk business had been acquired so some points to ponder over under the mna spree spree ponder means to think about to think about so sometimes uh, some points which uh, you know you should think about in merger acquisition and this was a report report prepared by kpmg and uh, this uh, extract is from the report which is prepared by kpmg kpmg in its recent study of global acquisitions concludes that most mergers which means more than 80 percent mergers fail biggest revelation which kpmg had done they say that more than 80 percent mergers fail they are failing to fulfill their objectives the merged companies do worse than their peer groups merged companies are very very uh, poorly performing as compared to their peer groups a large number of acquisitions that are reversed within fairly short period of time so many acquisitions are reversed reverse means you know i buy a company today and after two years i sell off that company because that company is not doing fine this is known as reversal of the merged acquisition deal we reverse the merged acquisition deal so large number of acquisitions that are reversed within fairly short time period about 20 percent of acquisition made between 1982 to 86 was divested by 1988 sold off in 1988 so that is the reversal of margin acquisition so reversals are a common phenomena under uh, you know margin acquisition in general acquiring firm tends to pay too much price for the target firm so sometimes what happens is uh, in a bidding spree when open bidding is happening guys because of your ego you tend to spend more you are aware that that company is worth 50 crores but just to win that bid you bid at a higher amount you bid 70 crores for this company you bid 100 crores for this company this is known as the winner's curse although you win the deal although you win the deal but it is a curse on you it will be curse on your entire group it will be unprofitable for your entire group it will be problematic for your entire group it will be a curse for your entire group although you win the deal i agree you win the deal you are the winner but it's a curse for you what is the benefit of uh, winning this deal at such a high price that you know you are not able to justify the price um, uh, as compared to the future profits which this company will earn so it's known as a winner's curse the winners who's who's won he uh, he wins but uh, it, it's actually a curse on that particular person overestimate the value of synergy and control so you over evaluate value of synergy so you're saying that you know my value of synergy is very high but at the end of the day it's not that high it's not that high so value of synergy and control which you get values are overrated you uh, estimate a lot of uh, high value for these things have a difficult time delivering the promised benefit so many merger acquisition deal when you know a target company is merged in uh, the main company then you know target company comes with a lot of promises most of more often than not these promises are not fulfilled they fail to meet their promises okay sir got it